You know, half guard shell. Remember, locking the shoulder, elbow inside the knee, controlling the bicep. Um, you can do the wrist. I prefer this grip, it just gives you a bit more versatility. From here, I kick through, I fall out. Boom. Notice the change in angle. So this posting hand is put into a position where if he starts pushing into me now, I can support that because of my post. Okay, it's not here. If I post down, he pushes, boom, flat it. Okay, so my post is at the back here. From here, I step off, curl that back, bump forward. As I bump forward, I clear my, my bottom leg. Now, you can see Dan's posted up on that leg. So the knee trap sweep is gone now. Okay. Um, but there's a really cool alternative. So this is the roll, roll through sweep. I'm just going to turn this in this position because I want you to see a little detail here. So still controlling this lower part of his leg between my knees. Got my post there. What I do is when I do this here, is I actually switch this leg over his calf because I want to track this knee into position. From here, I'll drop this hand, I'll cut the hip because I want a connection between his hip and my hip, and then I'm going to start my roll through. So from here, I dive, I'm going to, just now, I'm going to C cut. So this grip under his knee. So from here, lock, drop. Notice how that bottom leg acted like a hook to guide it over. So there's two functions. The one is to track his knee into position so that leg can't move out. And then the other one is that as I'm rolling through, it then acts as a, a hook where I guide him over and I kick him to the end and then come to the top. Okay, so just We'll show it again. So there, half got shell, kick through. Notice the turn of the angle, catch, step off. So you, you probably wouldn't post up right away, but maybe you do. But <laughs> <laughs> that's fine, either way. Step off there, boom. Now you would post up because you'd feel compromised with your base. Okay. You might even have your hand on the mat there. Okay, there's additional support because if you put your hand where you were, so go back. Okay, so go now because you've got no post there. Okay, I can just bump you forward. You're gonna nose down. So when you step up, it's most likely gonna be this kind of thing with a wizard. There, step off, pull that back, Bump. yes, okay, now you've posted there, now, quick switch, boom, foot comes over, hand drops, connect to your hip, dive, catch, I'm going to stop it here, so you can see where I'm at, see, hook, there, and now just keep that going, and we roll through. Turn, step, pull that back, I bump forward, which clears my bottom leg. He posts up, this leg, quick switch over, catch, and then I dive. We did that in slow-mo for effect. <laughs> <laughs> right. The second one where I block the knees. Okay. Um, so just, just gonna move like this so you can you can kind of see. So yeah, maybe I'm not gonna do the whole thing again. So you just come here. You know, I've got five position. So he's there. I'm controlling his legs. Sometimes what happens is this actually ends up this side. And then it's like it's a little bit more complex, it's not impossible to deal with. So here, boom, catch. Okay. 
Now, let's go. Thank you. Let's go. Better. Left. Let's carry up. One, two, three. 